Yes. All right, all right, shalom, shalom. All right, let's get started, Mahar. All right, let me see where my screen at. All right, come. All right, there we go. All right, come, come, come. This is not, no, 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 we don't want that. We don't want that. Okay, come. Come, come, come. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> all right, shalom, shalom to the family. Shalom, shalom. All right. All right, all right. That's right, that's right. All right, con, con, con. All right. All right, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. That's the name of the Father. That's the name of the Son. That's the name of the Holy Spirit that our King um, st stayed here or kept here for us. So that we can gain, uh, what we have learned from Him and continue that on. Uh, to the family, all right, to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad. All right, we are nations of kings and priests, no cap. All right, um, you there, Mahar? Khan. All right, Khan. I'm with brother, I went Shatar Mahar. Uh, we're going to come up with a class today, and it's entitled, Do We Need Teachers? You know, now that Christ has come, right, do we need teachers? Is that a question is that is that valid? Is that a valid question in today? Right? Because for some odd reason, this keeps coming up, man. All right, especially brothers with a new understanding. Right? We don't need teachers anymore. Right? Especially brothers who've been hurt, man. And I know I've been there. <laughs> I've been there, man. You know, I've been there, I've been there, I've been deceived, man. Right, I've been deceived by other men. Right, but what we're gonna go into to today is: Do we need to be taught by other men? See, the problem is we think that we have all the answers, but we also need our brothers, man. We need those elders. We need those teachers. We need those to help us, all right, and guide us. But more importantly. What did the king say? How about that? What did the king say about teaching? Did the teacher say, did he say we don't need teachers? Did he say, well, now you got the spirit, so everybody deal individually, man. Is that what was taught? We're going to grab some examples, man, and, you know, hopefully this is edifying to the hopeful elect. And you can understand if we need teachers or we don't need teachers. Or if the most high just dealing with you, brother, and that's it. You got the hundred percent truth, right? Because you don't need a teacher, right? You know, brother, like I said before, I've been there, man. I've been there. I've been deceived by the teachers that I went to go under to, 
that I've been I, I submitted myself under to those teachers, man. All right, I've been burned. I've been there. I know what it's like to be exiled. You and your family be in exile, man. Exiled uh, from from the congregation because you're looking at the scriptures and it ain't lining up with what they saying. I've been there. All right? I know what it feels like to be in that situation, man. To have to speak to my my sons who are much younger than and say we ain't going there no more, man. Because I have to make God true and man a liar. That's our duty to make God true and man a liar. So what we're going to do today is do we need teachers? What does the scripture say? All right? Say my interpretation. This is what the scriptures say. All right. Go ahead, King. Let me get the let's start off with the king, right? Uh, let's start off with Matthew 28 and verse 18. We'll start there. Now, again, we're presenting this information because guess what? You got a new understanding, right? We ain't got to keep no laws. I ain't got to be under nobody, right? I ain't got to learn from nobody, right? So the spirit dealing with me, right? I'm an individual light. That's the new, that's the new spirit, right? That's floating around, right? All right, shalom, shalom to the family, shalom. So go ahead, Mahar, read that when you got it, King. All right. Can you hear me loud and clear? Come on, come. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 28 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. He commanded to do what? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Now hold on a second, family. When we look in at this scripture, we're looking at the timeline. This is after his death. He already con he conquered death. He showed us. And he said, all power is given unto me. But he said, go out there and teach. So this is Christ, Amashiach Yahawashai, given the order to you go out there and teach. Right? Which is very important for us to understand that this is an order, Right? Didn't we read Deuteronomy 18 where it said, uh, uh, Yahweh said, there is a prophet, we were going to raise a prophet among you, and you will you will do what he says. And if you don't, that's on you. Right? Didn't he say that? So now we see a commandment that he put out. He said, go out there and teach. Right? <laughs> Finish that off, King. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Come on. So now we see a direct order from Amashiach telling his disciples to go and teach. Now, did his disciples say, well, we don't need to teach anymore, do we? We're in the new covenant, so we shouldn't be teaching anybody. Should we repent? What are we teaching? Right? Watch this. Let's go to Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, Baba Kasha. Go ahead, King. This is the book of Acts chapter 2. And verse 42. Mm -hmm. And they continued steadfastly. They continued the steadfastly, right? Read. In the apostles' doctrine. In the what doctrine? In the apostles' doctrine. So not only did they teach, 
but they stood stood fast in the doctrine that they were taught. Now, brothers, when you are new to this truth, you you're you're gonna have to be stable in the foundation of this truth. Which what is the truth? It's the law. How to keep, you know, the Sabbath days holy. Brother, you have not been righteous all your life. Sister, you haven't been righteous all your life. It's not just a feeling to have faith in a Mashiach. You have to show that you have faith in a Mashiach by walking in the statutes of his father. Right? This is him speaking. So they stood fast in the doctrine that was taught unto them. The Bible's clear, man. There are teachers and there are students. We're all students. We're all brothers. We're all to love each other. That, that, that's, there's no requisite. There's no difference in that. The problem is what we have is we have leaders in Israel. Again, nothing new under the sun, man. And Salakia, I'm not pointing out anybody in specific, specifically, but for example, I was, you know, in my experience and some other brothers experience, they're very similar. Mm. We have elders and or leaders of, of schools deter the spirit of these brothers, man. So what happens now? They leave that school. Now they now they hate all camps. I'm not going to subject myself to no leader, to no teacher. I'm going to learn from here and there. You know, the problem with that is you're not being subject to that elder and or teacher. So are you truly walking in the apostles doctrine? Because that's what these brothers did, right? Go ahead, finish that off, King. Watch this. And fellowship. And they did what? And fellowship. So this is a separation from the teaching to the doctrine. And now you have something else, which is called the fellowship. Now we can go into the Old Testament. It's holy convocations, feast days, Sabbath days. There's fellowships. These are things we have to do. Not only be taught. Not only teach, not only preach, not only act, not only do what we need to do, but guess what? We need to fellowship. So hold on a second. I'm supposed to listen to a brother who don't fellowship? I'm supposed to listen to a brother who never been a feast day in his life. Yet he knows when all the feast days are supposed to be. How does that make any sense? That makes no sense. All right. Finish that off, King. And in breaking of bread. Mm -hmm. And in prayers. This was fellowship brothers doing this. Not just an individual light. This was brothers doing this, man. Brothers doing this together. If y'all never been to a summit, I highly recommend it because guess what? It's a beautiful thing. Being there in, 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 in the midst of, but you think we not one spirit and one mind there. You, you mistaken, man. You mistaken. When we there, we want spirit and one mind. I'll give you an example. And Mahar, Mahar's my witness to this. We were in Washington, all right, with Masharal Yasharala, not too, what is it, uh, last month, right, Mahar? Something like that? Yep. And, um, you know, I was on the, I was, Salaki, I was on the right, I was on the other side of the, of the camp. And I see a scuffle on the other side of the camp. My instinct, instinct was to go over there and deal with the problem. I, didn't, I knew there was a scuffle. I knew something was going on. But I didn't have a, a, a spirit of separation being like, well, that's them. That, they doing that. No. 
I instinct was to go over there and help out and find out what's going on, man. Right? Why? Because we one body, one mind. All right? While we're there, and guess what? That's a beautiful thing, man. We have some brothers from Jersey, man, visit us over there. Right? And they were, uh, 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 you know, our, their first summit. A beautiful thing. Something to experience if you haven't been there. So, you know, definitely something to uh, uh, experience in that fellowship if you have not. Now, I'll give you the flip side. I've also been in some wicked fellowships where, unfortunately, you know, head wraps and, and, and fringes and, you know, and, and rankings mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you get treated a certain way, man. You know, just because you ain't in that uh, a group of, of, of uh, you ain't in the club, but which is cool. I've never been in the club, man, but I've always been about these scriptures, man. Always been about them. So that fellowship and that that staying with what they taught was was common with these brothers, man. Now watch this. Let's go to Acts. Give me Acts 15 and 35. Watch this. All right. Paul, right? Paul was was a Pharisee, right? And then he did what? He the the uh, Yahawashai converted him, made him see the truth. Now he's doing what? Go ahead, read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 15, and verse 35. Paul also and Barnabas continued in Antioch, teaching and preaching. Teaching the word and of the Lord. preaching, right? Read. The word of the Lord. The word of the Most High God. Now, notice it, they distinctly separated preaching and teaching because they sat down and they made sure that people understood the reading, like it says in Nehemiah 8 and 8. What were they reading out of? Did they have the book of Acts in that time? No. Did they have Matthew in that time? No. So what were they teaching and what were they preaching? You see that? We cannot think that this is just something new. You don't have a new understanding, man. You don't. What you have is a spirit on you, man. Now, it, it, the problem is we get, we, you know, we get hurt, right? We go through an issue with a camp and or school. So now nobody could, nobody could teach you. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't care what anybody says, the spirit dealing with me. So now I can't be taught. However, we read here in Paul and Barnabas, they were actually teaching. Right? Give me Acts 18 and 11. Watch this. We see teachers. And then we're going to go into ordained teachers, man. Ordained and set up by the spirit of Yahweh Shimmy Awashai, man. Watch this. So what so what so hold on a second, man. Y'all using the New Testament to say we don't need teachers. However, we just went through three scriptures already saying that they were teaching, right? Watch this. Go ahead, King. All right. Can you hear me still? Con, con. Okay, okay. This is the book of Acts, chapter 18. In verse 11, mm -hmm. and he continued there a year and six months. A year and six months, right? Read. Teaching the word of God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was teaching the word of God, man. This is Paul. This is the same one people run to to say, well, you see the spirit dealt with Paul. I ain't got to have a teacher. Right? However, we see him dealing and teaching uh, continually. Right? 
Finish that off, King. Among them. Mm-hmm. You see that? that no, you're good. You're good. Let's go to First Timothy 2 and verse 7. Watch this. This is this is Paul's epistle to Timothy. Mm. Did he tell Timothy, "Now, nah, brother, the Spirit is dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? Go do what you go do. Do what you need to do." No. What did he do to Timothy's man? Go ahead. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter two, and verse seven. Uh huh. Where unto I am ordained a preacher. I am ordained a what? A preacher. A preacher, read. And an apostle. Uh-huh. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Read. A teacher of a the what? Gent a teacher of the Gentiles. Hold on, hold on. We don't need teachers. Right? Paul was a teacher. And not only that, he said, I'm ordained a teacher by, by, by the spirit of Amashiach. Hey, is not what we're saying. Amashiach's my leader. But hold on a second. Amashiach ordained him to be a teacher and a leader. What? What? Where is the confusion at? Where is it? Problem is, we want to be self-willed. That's the problem. And here's another problem. We have to discern the, the wicked and, and false prophets. And we have to discern those who are actually bearing fruit, man. Even then, are they perfect? They're probably not, man. We all trying to get it right. We really are. But they will, they will be known by their fruits. What did the Mashiach say? He said, the teacher shall be known by their fruits. You have to pray. I'm not going to be subject to a brother who's going to try and force something on me. I'm not going to be subject to a brother who t talks down to me, man, and doesn't uplift me. I've been called a nigger and a spick all my life. What makes you think? That I'm going to be want to call that in the truth, man. We go out on the streets and we teach, right? And we say, nah, brother, you ain't a, a nigga. You ain't no spick. You ain't, you ain't no savage, man. You are a king and a priest, man. You are the greatest thing in this world. But then when we bring them in, we, we, we destroy the spirit. We give no nurturing, no charity, no love. That's why you got false prophets today, because they weren't given that same spirit that Amashiach gave his disciples, man. He washed their feet. Where y'all leaders at? Did they wash y'all feet? We, we under Christ, aren't we? Aren't we under Christ? So where's the feet washing, man? Where's the humility? But here's the thing, too. He also rebuked. And whooped y'all for not keeping the law. So we understand the balance, but he had compassion and he loved his disciples. Loved his brethren, man. And he loves you if you keep the law, statutes, the commandments, and faith in him. Why? Because he said it, man. We got to love each other like he That's how we know we disciples of him. So my leader, my elder... Is gonna have those characteristics of a Mashiach. He's gonna love me like he would love himself, not me be under him because he's an whatever, an elder or a deacon or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Th that makes no sense for you to be uh, uh to rule over the brothers that are under you, man. Makes no sense. We literally had a brother here in no cap. Tell us, if I'm a captain and I throw something on the floor, you got to pick it up. That's what they said. Needless to say, he didn't last very long. Needless to say. 
Because we ain't dealing in that spirit, man. We did in the spirit of humility. Right? And being the greatest servant to each other. Sometimes too much. I've 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 gone so I've gone so much that I forgot about uh, uh, taking care about myself, man. And that was wrong of me, but I learned and I grew from it. Now I ain't doing that anymore. All right, but watch this. Let's go to um, 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 17. Watch this. Con 4 and 17. You said First Corinthians? Con, First Corinthians um, 4 and 17. Now, mind you, we just read Paul, right? The, he, he, he told himself, he said, I was ordained a preacher and a teacher. I like not, right? Who do he, what do we read this? In Timothy's, no? Now, watch this. This is in First Corinthians, and now he's speaking about Timothy's. What did he ordain Timothy's? Now, mind you. This is Paul, who was ordained by Amashiach himself, and the spirit, Rukakwadash, and he was ordained. Now, what is what is Paul doing here? Watch this. Go ahead, King. Four this seven. is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, and verse 17. For this cause have I sent unto you, Timotheus, uh -huh. who is my beloved son mm -hmm. and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways, which be in Christ, mm -hmm. as I teach everywhere in every church. So hold on a second. He ordained Timothy's to watch over that over Corinth as he goes and teaches to be steadfast in the doctrine that was taught unto him. This is order. This is uh, um, established order in the church of Yasharala. All right. This is order. Brothers and sisters, so when you see camps and or schools and or congregations, whatever you want to call it, try and establish order, this is what they're following. We're seeing the scriptures. It's showing us teachers. So why are you saying we don't need teachers? All right? Watch this. Give me Acts. Uh, so I guess, let's, 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 um, let's stick with uh, 1 Corinthians. Give me 14. Chapter 14 and verse 19. Watch this. Now, this is Paul actually examining the way he's teaching, right? So go ahead, King. Acts 14. And we're going to, uh, sorry, excuse me. 1 Corinthians 14 and uh, verse 19. I'm thinking of Acts. Yeah, maybe uh maybe one maybe we need to go acts after this. Salakia, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, and verse 19. Yet in the church I had rather speak five words with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also. Mm -hmm. Then 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. Right. So he says, I rather teach in the way so people understand me than me teaching in an unknown tongue. So he rather have them edified in the way he teaches than edified in another way, making it sound good. Right. Now, we say this all the time. We fishermen of men. We fish in them. 
as a fisherman, you ever fished before? We we in Florida, so we fished, right? So we know how to fish, right? When you fish, you go to a different location, right? You go to a location where there's gonna be fishes at, right? Clean fish. You may get an unclean fish here and there, but you throw it back in, right? You don't want those unclean fish. You want the clean fish. Anyways, you may go fishing with a net. You may go fishing to the pier. You may go fishing with a pole. You may go fishing with a donut. And I'm talking about the, the, the circle donut. We just call them the Cuban, the, the Cuban fishing reel, right? Or the Puerto Rican uh, fishing reel. But it used to work, right? Just cast some fish. You may use a uh, different bait. You may use bread. You may use uh, another fish. You may use mackerel. Whatever the case may be, adapt to the environment to make sure you get more fish. The way you teach and the way you preach and the way you teach is the same exact way. There is no different. There's no different. There are a lot of things that are appealing to Israel, right? That's going to bring them in. And that's all we want, man. So they can truly feel uh, the power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai and come back to the fold, come back to your citizenship and your identity of who you are. That's what it's about. So that's what Paul's saying. He's saying, I'd rather teach so people can be edified rather than an unknown tongue. Why? Because he was teaching. And he was being a master of what he was doing. This is Paul, man. Right? Now watch this. Give me, let's go to Acts. Give me Acts 8 and 31. Watch this. Was it 8 and 31? Uh Yeah, con, con, con. All right. This is the book of Acts, chapter 8 and verse 31. Uh, you know what? Start on verse 30. Salakia. Go ahead. Verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Esaias and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Mm -hmm. And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? Some man should guide me, even though this brother had the spirit, right? For the spirit was bearing witness, wasn't it? It was reading Isaiah. So he says, How can I understand if some man come and teach me? All right, go ahead. And he desired Philip that he, he would what? come. And he desired Philip. He humbled himself. He said, you know what? Come and teach me, brother. Help me understand. We know the story of Philip. The Most High was dealing with that brother, man. Right? So he made sure that he was taught Brother, how does how did what is what is Isaiah saying here in, in 63? Who's this glorious brother that he's talking about? Is it Moses? Who is it? Right. So this is him wanting to be taught by another man. This is the scriptures, brother. This is what we're reading. This is what we're seeing. So the spirits there that Amashiach left. It's making them understand the reading. So it's not that the spirit's not there and not dealing with you. It's just that the spirit is, is dealing with men who are dealing in the spirit. Helping you understand. Helping you. Helping us. Helping me. You know, sometimes I drive my elders crazy. But the scripture says we're out there doorsteps. You know? And sometimes they don't they don't understand what I'm asking them. So they, they have to, you know, what I'm saying uh, uh, deal with the spirit or 
get it for somewhere else or get counsel themselves. That's a beautiful thing, Oc. I don't, this is not me. I'm not self-willed. I don't want to be self-willed. I fail. This fails. This don't. This don't fail. So I'll make sure I do it to the best that I can. If I'm wrong, then guess what? Then I ain't got, I, I, I suck. I, I, um, I sought out counsel, right? I check with brothers. I did what I could, right? But me bitching and complaining behind a keyboard ain't going to do a damn thing. Where your talents at? What did, what did Christ do? Christ is going to ask you, what did you do with the information and the spirit that I gave you? What did you do with it? Did you double your talents or did you hide it? Bitching and complaining behind the keyboard. I don't care, man. Old Testaments, they don't believe in the Bible. Period. Y'all don't believe in the Bible, man. If you don't believe in a Mashiach, you don't believe in the Bible. Because he, he is the law. He is Torah. Y'all just wicked as hell, man. Y'all ain't keeping no laws anyways. All y'all do is bitch and scoff on the on the comment board. Man, that's all y'all do. But here we go. This is the reason why we need teachers. We need we need teachers to guide us and help us, right? Let's let's move on. Right. Give me first Timothy's uh one, and we'll start out verse three. What's he doing? He's in his walker? Nah, he's crawling all over the place. <laughs> hey, tell, hey, tell him to pull up a preset for me. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I got this. <laughs> Go ahead, King. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter 1. And verse 3, uh -huh. as I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, mm -hmm. when I went into Macedonia. So like it, so like it, you read that in Acts 18. This is what Paul did. He left them in Ephesus in Ephesians, right? He left them there. He left Jews there, by the way, right? You read that in Acts 18. Why? He, he taught them. He gave them the spirit. And he taught them. Now watch what he tells them. Huh? Watch this. Go ahead. That thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine. So not only do I tell you that, that I left you teaching, but that you teach no other doctrine outside of what I taught you, says Paul. Hold on a second. I thought we didn't need teachers. We're reading First Timothy's here. Brothers got this newfound understanding. We don't have to keep no laws, and we don't got to have no teachers. Then the hell with that, man. Let me tell y'all, man, we, we truly blessed. Truly, truly blessed. Because we not self-willed here, man. I'm going to make a phone call. I got five elders I can call if I need to. Hell, maybe even more. And all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakodash. Because I, I know them personally, right? I can sit down, I can speak with them, I can reason with them, right? And I, and I know them of their works. So now I'm going to make sure that. What I'm bringing out aligns. And like he says here, right? He says, teach no other doctrine. Right? Watch this. Read on, Ak. Watch this. Verse 4. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies. Uh-huh. Which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith, so do. Beautiful thing, and that is probably too deep for a lot of a lot of brothers who say we don't need to teach or we don't have teachers. 
You need teachers so that you're not caught in everyone a doctrine, so that you don't fall. Some of these teachers do not care about the sheep. They don't. They can give a rat's ass. They don't care about you. A real leaders do. Why do you think we go out there, man? What's good? As a matter of fact, we got <laughs> Mahar. You're gonna laugh. We got. Uh, I think I had two or three brothers last week. I don't know the number. Get in my face. Um, get in my face uh, in the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? Ready to throw down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, for some reason, we go teaching there, right? We've been teaching there for a minute. And, um, you know, some crazy stuff has happened to us before. However, this one day, you had three brothers get in my face. You know what I'm saying? But we do it because we love our people. And we go out there because we, we rebuke Jake, man. Jake is bugged the hell out. However, you may get one. We ain't there for everyone. We better wake up the elect, and that's it. Right? You have a will, man. How it will. So lock you. All right, let me get uh first Timothy's two and two. All right. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse two. For kings and for all that are in authority, mm -hmm. that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life mm -hmm. in all godliness and honesty. And that is the true spirit of a leader, man. That we live godly and honestly. Not deceiving our flock or the most high God's flock, right? But being the greatest servant to the, the, the sheep of Amashiach. That's the gift of a true leader, man. That's what a true leader does. Setting a good example for the sheep of Amashiach. Right? Give me uh, 1 Timothy 5 and we'll, we'll do 17. All right, this is the book of First Timothy, chapter 5, and verse 17. Mm -hmm. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, uh -huh. especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. In the word and doctrine. However, he says, give the elders double honors, man. What does that mean? That means that there were elders amongst the flock teaching them, giving them the example. So, no, no, brother, we don't need elders. We don't need teachers. We don't need that. We didn't stay with a Mashiach. Yeah, true that. But a Mashiach ordained uh, Paul and he ordained Timothy's and he ordained elders in those churches. So now you have a problem with what you're saying because we see examples in the Bible with teachers, preachers, and subject to elders. It's not the same thing where you don't want to be taught. I'm telling y'all, it's a spirit, man. It's a spirit. It's a spirit that's out there that I say, I don't want to, I don't need teachers, man. We don't need to be taught. You need to stick to the same doctrine that you're being taught by teachers. However, however, we see elders uh, being given or being ordained double honors. Right? Give me first Corinthians. Oh, sorry, let's go to Ephesians. Watch this. Let's go to Ephesians 4. And Dewat, if you hear Enoch, don't worry about it. I ain't gonna go into the Ephesians four yet. We'll uh, we'll do that class next week, most high willing. 
Ephesians 4, let's start at verse 11. Or Salakia, verse 10. You said verse 10? Come. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, and verse 10. He that descended is the same also that ascended up. Talking about a mafia, right? All right, read. Far above all heavens, mm -hmm. that he might fill all things. Mm -hmm. And he gave some apostles uh -huh. and some prophets. Some prophets, some apostles, read. And some evangelists. Some evangelists, right, read. And some pastors uh -huh. and teachers. And what? And teachers. And teachers. Hold on a second, man. I thought we don't need teachers. But we see an ordainment from the spirit of Amashiach for teachers, for preachers, for evangelists. The problem is, brothers, you want to be self-willed. That's why you can't take correction. But the one who is put on top, Salakia, man, I need to say this. I need to say this. I need to say this. I never wanted to be a teacher, man. Never. You were talking. I was talking to my wife yesterday. I never wanted to be a teacher. Right? Never. I made the mistake of, of when I left this camp, I was under a, a, a so-called elder here in Tampa. He turned out to be wicked as hell, man. Wicked as hell. I didn't know what to do, man, honestly. But you know what? I had to do it. I had to say to myself, I am the camp. I am the school. I, the, the, the truth is the truth. Regardless of me, regardless of, of the camp, regardless of the elder, the truth is the truth. That don't change. So I need to make sure that I'm doing right by Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So before any other camp here in Tampa, we were we were putting we were putting boots to the ground. I was walking in them streets, passing out flyers. Right? You had only two brothers uh before me, which was Malaat and Yeshuan. And shout out to them brothers, man. Because they still put in the work. Right? And even then I said, let me go with them, brothers, man. I said, let me let me go and learn from learn with them. Right? But let's go 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 find out that the past had to had to had to uh, um, uh, split up, but we also still putting in the work. We all praise God and glory to Yahweh Yahweh for that. So I salute brothers, man, for that. However, however, if I would have never done it, what sort of example was I giving to the rest of the brothers here in Tampa, man? Right, so I needed to do it. I needed to teach, and guess what? We still need more teachers here in Tampa. So if y'all want to move down, come and move down. I am recruiting a no cap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We Masharal Yasharala, man. We are government of Israel. We try and do what we can for the nation. That's it. Very simple. All right. Keep reading. Huh? Verse 12. For the perfecting of the saints. Mm -hmm. For the work of the ministry. Uh huh. For the edifying of the body of Christ. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We need evangelists. We need preachers. We need prophets. We need teachers for the perfecting of the saints in the body of Amashiach. What do you mean we don't need teachers? What book are you reading? This is Amashiach's spirit saying we need that, that he ordains that. You're going against the king. 
You're going against the king. All right. Go ahead, King. Read, keep reading. Verse 13. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. Uh-huh. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Unto a perfect man. Unto a perfect man. Read. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That's how we're going to get there, man. That's how we're going to get there. We're not going to get there with you bitching and complaining. That's not, it's, it's not, it's not going to happen. Let me, I'm going to say this. Mm. I'm going to keep saying this. One West split up because Yahweh Bahashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai split that school up. He split that school up. You know why he split that school up? So he, his word can, can, can be, can be set out to the four corners of the earth, man. The Most High God ordained that school to be split. All, hey, man, and double honors to the elders from one west. And I know a lot of them. Double honors to them, brothers. However, the Most High God split that school, man. All right? And this is what we have today. We have brothers sticking to the faith, sticking to the doctrine, teaching. In the spirit of a Mashiach, we need teachers. We need brothers in the spirit, brothers to give good examples. Men who rule their households, who rule their children. Give me first Timothy's, uh, so I got second Timothy's three, man. Watch this. No, so like it, uh, first Timothy's three and verse one. We're, 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 we're seeing structure and order in the New Testament after a Mashiach, in the spirit of a Mashiach. We're seeing ordained teachers in the spirit of a Mashiach in the scriptures. What are you talking about? Salakia. Go ahead, man. You said First Timothy 3 and 1? Yes, sir. All right. This is the book of First Timothy chapter 3. And verse one, this is a true saying. Mm -hmm. If a man desire the office of a bishop, mm -hmm. he desireth a good work. Uh huh. A bishop then must be blameless. Mm -hmm. The husband of one wife. Uh huh. Vigilant, sober, of good behavior, mm -hmm. given to hospitality. Mm -hmm. Apt to teach. Apt to do what? Apt to teach. Apt to teach. Now, 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 watch this. Here's the thing, man. We are told that we don't have rankings, structure in the church of Christ, right? This is what they say, right? All right. Watch this. We're going to look up this word here. Right? Bishop. We're going to look at this word bishop here. Right? I'm going to share my screen right quick. Watch this. We're gonna. I'm gonna share my screen right quick. Uh, uh, uh. Bam. Well, that's not it. You can see my screen, Mahar. Um, Khan. Okay, Khan. All right now, this is the word in First Timothy's three and one. When it comes to bishop, okay? Watch this. Strong's G, 1984, Episcopate. Episcopate. Episcopate, right? Let's check out the outline biblical usages, right? Watch this. Investigation. Inspection. Visitation. Watch this. Uh, uh, B, oversight. 
overseership, office, charge, the office of an elder. So that, that's the meaning of bishop in this verse. Right? An authority, an overseer. Right? Someone that's overseeing what's going on in the church. Right? And this overseer, guess what he's doing? He's teaching and overseeing the flock. And guess what else he's doing? Giving a good example. Giving a good example to the flock. But I thought we don't need teachers. I thought we don't need elders. I thought, what? This is what we're reading. Yeah, y'all let me know, man. Y'all let me know. All right, let me get First Peter's five, man. This is another characteristics of the office. All right now, Peter is the rock of the church of Amashiach. All right, the rock. He is the leader. Watch this. We're going to start on verse 1. Right? Now, brothers and sisters, I need you all to pay attention to the words that Peter is using here. Because they give us clues, man. Peter's deep. Peter's deep. I love Peter, man. He has some great words, man. Right? Some great words. Uh, uh, and, and he had, a, a, man, just a powerful spirit, man. So watch this. Go ahead, King. Read that when you got it. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. The elders which are among you. The elders I, which are among you, right? Read. I exhort. So we're seeing a, a Peter's, right? Peter addressing the churches that the elders who are among you. So we see an example from Paul, right? We read that in Timothy's, right? 5 and 17. Now we read in another example in Peter. They ain't talking to the same uh, uh, body here. They're talking to another body in Christ. All right? And there's elders there as well. Read, Ock. Who am also an elder. Mm hmm and the witness of the sufferings of Christ. Right, read. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Right, read. Feed the flock of God. Feed the flock of the Most High God, Yahweh. Read. Which is among you. Uh-huh. Taking the oversight thereof. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He says taking the oversight what were those what were those words bishop that we read earlier right we read earlier the definite ov oversight look at that you see that oversight the bishop this is from first timothy's uh 3 and 1 but now we're reading peter first peter 5 and it says taking oversight so not only did paul have leaders giving oversight what does it mean to give oversight huh supersede supervise right office of an elder brothers we're reading the same book that brothers is is getting on saying i'm you ain't you don't gotta keep no laws and only christ teaches me Salakia, go ahead. Not by constraint, but willingly. Uh huh. Willingly, right? Read. Not for filthy lucre. Not for filthy lucre, right? What What does it mean to be filthy lucre, man? You got your hand. You You know better than a Christian pastor, man. You know, stealing from the people. Salakia, go ahead, King. But of a ready mind. Of a ready mind. Read. 
neither as being lords over God's heritage, uh -huh. but being examples to the flock. But being examples to the flock. What sort of example you 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 being when you're drunk in the club? When you're saying that uh, 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 ain't nobody above you other than Christ. Who the hell ordained you that? Because Christ didn't do it. Salakia, go ahead. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, mm -hmm. ye shall receive a crown of glory uh -huh. that, that fadeth not away. That fade, that's when a Mashiach will come and crown you. You can read that in first Salakia. You can read that in Revelation 13. And in Second Ezra 2 and I believe 37 and on down, right? Crowning you, that's a Mashiach, our king, the master who gave us the example, man. So you need to give the same example to the flock. I don't care how many years you've been in the truth. One year, two years, 20 years, 30 years, you have to give a good example. Now, this is speaking to the elders directly. However... You are still to give a good example, even if you're young in this truth, man. Be humble, brothers. The truth is not going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. The truth, you knew, you now you know who you are. Give it time. Repentance is a process, but you cannot be slack on, on turning to the Lord, man. All right? You sacrifice for him, he will sacrifice for you. You take a step to the Lord, he'll take two steps to you. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. Like I tell my sons all the time, no sacrifice, no victory. Didn't Amashiach sacrifice for us? Go ahead, King, keep reading. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is saying submit yourselves to an elder. I thought we're not supposed to have no elders, right? No teachers, no examples. We're supposed to just be in the spirit all the time. Man, let me tell you all something, man. I'm making sure that I have counsel, right? And making sure that I can go ahead and talk to my elders, man. Right? To make sure I ain't going off, man. I don't care how many scriptures you know. If you ain't applying them, don't mean a damn thing. You're just a singing bird that looks good. That's it. You in, you in a cage, man. All right? Go ahead, read up. Yay. All of you. Be subject one to another. Be subject one to another, man, because you know what? It don't matter how 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 many years you have in this truth. You have to, the greatest among you is going to be your greatest servant, man. Your greatest servant. Right? Go ahead. And be clothed with humility. Uh-huh. For God resisteth the proud. Resisteth the proud. Read. And giveth grace to the humble. Giveth grace to the humble, man. I I rarely saw the humility in the camp that I was with. However, I'm going to make sure that I show that humility to the brothers that I'm with today. Because I learned from that. And I said, I ain't going to do that to my brothers, man. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to be the greatest servant, man. Right? I'm hoping a brother move tomorrow, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Taking time out of my day to help the brother out. Picking up brothers to the Sabbath. You know? Doing classes. Counseling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it's 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 nonstop. But it, it, I would not have the... Uh, it's not a burden because I know the Most High is giving it to me. Uh... Because I can handle it. So it's all good. And I'm re I rejoice in it. And I'm very humbled and honored. But I ain't shit. I ain't nothing. 
I'm everything through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's all I have. That's my everything. So everybody's the same when it comes to that. We all need to treat each other like the the the, the holy and anointed Israel Yasharala that we are. You know. However, I give double honors to the elders, man. It, it, it's it's a beautiful thing being around them. I'm just trying to I'm trying to I ask questions, trying to pick their brain and stuff. They might, I'm you know I sometimes worry they must think I'm crazy or something. But like I I try and you know what I'm saying, <laughs> just try and pick their brain because to me it's a miracle seeing brothers like that who've been in the truth 30, 40 years, man, and you know uh, still still doing it. So double honors, man. So. Well, anyways, uh, keep reading. I'll finish that off. Humble yourselves, mm -hmm. therefore, under the mighty hand of God, uh -huh. that he may exalt you in due time. Uh-huh. Read. Casting all your care upon him. Right. For he careth for you. For he careth for you. Read. Be sober. Be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he, he may devour. Right. And those are the characteristics, brothers and sisters. That is what we should be looking at. And those are the things that we should be uh, uh, bringing in and looking at to the brothers that we are learning from. Okay. You could read Matthew 7, where it tells you about the, the, the spirit. The, the false prophets also have spirits and fruits as well. So it's important for us to see those things. All right. And, and also discern those spirits. All right. That's all I got. Mahar, you got any precepts, King? La. All right, Khan. With that, we're going to say Shalom. All glory, all honor, all praises. On, uh, on to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, all right? Inshallah.